Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. Today we'll be doing a speed test comparison of two flagship devices and this is one of the most requested videos we have been getting ever since the launch of the Vivo X100 to compare it with the iQOO 12. So this is the speed test comparison of the Vivo X100 with the recently launched iQOO 12. Now the Vivo X100 uh, is priced around 63999 that's the base variant while the base variant of the iQOO 12 is priced 49999 along with offers. Now if you look at the hardware uh, uh, this is powered by the Dimensity 9300 chip. It's a really powerful uh, chip from MediaTek. While this is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 again a really powerful chip. Now both of these devices have a uh, similar hardware uh, like uh, the RAM, the software experience. Both are fun touch away. So everything remains the same except for the processor. So let's see how the experience is on these two devices. The memory management, the speed, the network, everything we will be testing in this video. So before getting into the video, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin the speed test comparison of the Vivo X100 with the iQOO 12. So we have the two devices with us right now and uh, let's see the about phone. So this is the Vivo X100 and this is the iQOO 12. So you can see the UI experience is exactly the same because it's both the fun touch OS 14 and here we have the Vivo V2 chip. Uh, we have the chip Q1 on uh, the iQOO 12. Now this is 3.25 GHz Dimensity 9300 octa-core processor. This is the 3.3 GHz Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Both have 16 gigs of RAM, Android 14 out of the box and 512 gigabyte storage. So exactly the same in terms of software and a lot of hardware except the processor. So that's the hardware of these two devices. So looking at the network connection, both are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Both are in airplane mode as well. Let's see the background apps. So let's just clear off all the background apps so everything is cleared now no background apps are running so let's start the speed test of these two devices we'll open these 16 apps and then we'll test the network uh, or the wi-fi speed then uh, the benchmarks and the geekbench so let's start with asphalt 9 so let's see which opens faster uh, either the vivo x100 or the iQOO 12 so this is the the asphalt 9 so both are going at the same pace let's see which opens faster So IQ has opened it slightly faster, not by a huge margin. Uh, slightly faster was IQ. Obviously, the Snapdragon does show its power. So that's the first uh, app. So let's uh, now go to BGMI or PUBG Mobile. Let's see which opens this faster. Again, uh, game mode is enabled on both the devices. So you can see here game mode getting enabled. Again, uh, IQ has taken the lead here and uh, you can see that iQOO has opened the game faster so there you go so both the games uh, uh, iQOO was faster the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in fact uh, BGMI it was considerably faster than uh, the Dimensity 9300 now next is uh, Play Store again iQOO was faster Chrome browser almost same time I would say Facebook slightly faster was uh, Vivo but again not major difference Twitter Again, iQOO is faster. Instagram, probably almost same time, I would say. Spotify, here, a Vivo was faster. Amazon, iQOO did, or rather, Vivo did have an advantage. Flipkart, iQOO was slightly faster. File Manager, again, iQOO is faster. Settings, almost same time. YouTube, slightly faster was iQOO. Gmail, almost same time camera again almost same time and finally maps so again most of the most uh, similar so you could see that uh, uh, the difference here is uh, the slightly uh, the gaming performance i would say games were slightly faster on the iq12 and overall if you look at the performance both did a really good job but i would say iq has a slight advantage over uh, the vivo x100 in terms of opening of apps now let's uh, go in the memory management so here we have the memory management so let's see if any of the apps are re uh, re uh, reloaded uh, in fact both of them have 16 gigs of ram so it should be ideally able to uh, retain all the apps in the memory so there you go you can see that almost all the apps as of now are retained chrome browser app store games 
and finally as for net so you can see here all the apps are retained by both the devices so memory management is exactly the same on both the devices now next let's see the network speed so let's start with uh, vivo x100 so we connected uh, both the devices to the uh, same uh, network So you could see that there is literally no difference in terms of the network uh, speed. Next let's go to the benchmark. So here we have tested uh, the benchmark score for both the devices. This is 20 lakh. Uh, 14,193 this is 20,60,378 almost similar score uh, you can uh, see the detail score 4,50,000 is the CPU score here 4,34,000 here 8,56,000 uh, is the GPU here 8,62,000 so you can see that the GPU is slightly more powerful uh, than uh, uh, the CPU on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and that actually shows up uh, in the gaming as well so again the UX and the memory score so that's the uh, score now let's also see uh, the uh, uh, the storage test um, here let's open the storage test so here you can see that uh, we have tested the storage and storage test was slightly faster on the vivo x100 uh, the sequential read write speeds uh, both have the ufs uh, 4.0 uh, 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 storage and you can see here very similar but then i vivo was uh, faster here now the geekbench test now again uh, we'll, we have tested here the results are here so you can see here 2188 is a single core 2026 is a single core for the dimensity 89300 uh, while it's slightly higher on the uh, the snapdragon 8 gen 3 again uh, you can see the multi core score is also slightly uh, better on the uh, the snapdragon 8 gen 3 uh, chip so that was the speed test of these two devices so ideally if you ask me which is better in terms of speed probably i would say the snapdragon 8 gen 3 is slightly faster uh, again not by a huge margin especially if you are into more into gaming i think the snapdragon 8 gen 3 would be the better choice because it has a slightly better gp performance and uh, even the app opening and the response time uh, uh, is slightly better with the snapdragon 8 gen 3 but otherwise uh, both of these are really good chip uh, now uh, Again, uh, in terms of battery experience, I felt that personally uh, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 was slightly better in terms of battery experience. Uh, overall efficiency uh, was better on the iQOO 12. But again, uh, the Dimensity 9300 also did a pretty good job. So that was the speed test comparison of these two devices. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. We will be also doing the camera comparison of these two devices. So stay tuned for that. And also don't forget to hit that uh, red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon for more videos like this. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.